Do you know that you could die at any time? It could be today, it could be a week from now, years from now. Only God knows. I want to talk to you about it in your morning cup of inspiration because I'm home recuperating from the procedure that I had yesterday. When you watch this, it will be last week. But they took me into the operating room after prepping me for about an hour, an hour and a half. Pam was with me until I went in to the surgery. And they got me on the operating table and they made an incision and inserted two probes into my heart. And then they were messing around with my heart rate. They were actually changing it. They were speeding it up. They were slowing it down. And the doctor was trying to get my heart to induce tachycardia. But my heart came through, meaning my electrical system is okay. And it was able to always slow back down after they did that. But at one point, when he had my heart rate up over a couple hundred beats per minute, I could just feel it in my chest and I felt it in my um, my throat. And it was a scary thing. You know where you take your pulse? I felt like I was gonna just burst. I thought my heart was gonna burst right out of my chest. And it was scary, but I was praying. The Lord was with me. I recited the 23rd Psalm and I recited every other verse I could think of because we were in there for about three hours. And I realized that maybe I'm not gonna live as long as I always had hoped for because my heart doesn't seem to be functioning right. But I know that that is up to God and I'm trusting him that we're gonna to get to the bottom of this or he's gonna heal me. Uh, but I did pass the first test. And we read over in James 4, verse 14, it says, whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. And then we read over in Mark chapter eight, verse 36, for what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Are you trying to gain the world, but you're in danger of losing your soul? Nothing is more important than your relationship with the Lord. Nothing is more important than that you ask him to forgive you of your sins right now if you haven't done it and then turn from your sin, repent, and lead a righteous life like he calls us to in scripture. Because none of us knows the day or the hour when we're going to leave this world and stand before him. I hope that inspires you to live each day to its fullest and to tell others about Jesus. God bless, and I'll talk to you soon for another morning cup of inspiration. And by the way, thank you for all of your prayers. I greatly appreciate it.